Hi, my name is Josh Jones, and these are your WHS school video announcements. Wednesday, April 27th, will be our cap, gown, and ticket distribution evening for WHS seniors. Students will need to pick up their caps, gowns, announcements, and graduation tickets in the main cafeteria. Each senior will be issued six tickets for commencement. Caps and gowns should be purchased on the Jostens website ASAP if you have not done so already. This is mandatory to participate in commencement. American Pie is coming, and you can get some American Pie swag early. We'll be selling a variety of American Pie stickers for a measly $2. You can get your stickers during all lunches in the rock shop. Half of every sticker sold will go out to help a fund American Pie and give you the best show ever. The WHS Spring Blood Drive is scheduled from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Thursday, April 21st. SOS Club will have a table set up during lunches this week for students to register for a time slot. There will also be posters around the building with a QR code to allow students to register. Have any questions or need a 16-year-old consent form? See Mrs. Rokoff in room 2419. Join Best Buddies for their talent show on April 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the LGI at the high school. Make sure to come and see some of their amazing acts of singing, dancing, and so much more. This year's WHS Cabaret theme is Love, Loss, and Broken Hearts. Shows are on May 13th and 14th at the Dessert and Dinner Theater in the Band Room. Hi, I'm Evie Hanlon and I'm here with Bree Dylanmore. And what's something positive that someone's done for you this week? Um, my sister was able to come home for the weekend for my U. I'm Kennedy McTighe and I'm here with Mallory Weber. And what's something positive that someone's done for you this week? My sister bought me Starbucks. <laughs> I'm here with Noah McCoy. And what's something positive that someone's done for you this week? Um, I had a friend pick me up with his girlfriend and try to find me a girlfriend, so that was pretty positive. Hi, I'm here with Lucy Montel. And what's something positive someone's done for you this week? This morning my mom made me pancakes for breakfast because she knows that they're my favorite. That is so nice of her. Spinner and I'm here with Charlie Schultz and I'm going to be teaching him how to play Wordle. You gotta guess a word. Five letter word. Okay, so, what does this mean? so yellow, so you have a yellow letter which means there's a D in, in the word, the final word, but that's not in the right place. If you have a gray letter, then it's not in the word. So this is somewhere like in here? Mm hmm. Hater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got nothing. Does that mean? It means you uh, got nothing. Okay, so I keep So you keep going. going. But you only have six chances. Remember, so. you have a D in the letter, in like the word. Like there's a D in the word, you just don't have it in the right place. And there's no H or A or T. Like. Draco. Right? That's a word. Oh, oh, oh but you oh. have an O! Oh. 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 Hey! Woo. I got two of them. Come on, what? Help. I feel like this is like a standardized test. Can we restart? No, so like you I can't restart on Wordle. This isn't fun. No, 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 no. Why would anyone want to play this game? Wordle, more like, more like Nerdle. Uh, huddle. Five, no one, words two, out of five three, letters. four, five. Try another vowel. Like I you, owe you fudge. There's an O. I'm only making fun of it because I'm not good at it. You know the D isn't there. Hey, thanks. You're welcome. Let's go! Ah! Ah! Let's go! Ah! Everybody, there you go. That's Wordle. Now I know how to play. Will I ever play it again? Probably not. But guess what? I found the word. This is the Westfield Sports Report.
We'll start off and congratulate Braden Smith on winning this year's Indiana Mr. Basketball. He is the first person in school history to win this award. Thank you for your tough competitive energy you showed every night on the court and good luck at Purdue. The baseball team has started their season off with five wins against North Central, Celine, the best team from Michigan, a series swept against Franklin Central, and Lebanon. The Rocks play Cathedral and then they have a series against Brownsburg. Go out and support the team if you're able to. Our softball team is off to a 2-2 two two start with wins against Monrovia and Franklin Central but with losses to Carmel and Pendleton Heights. The girls play Brownsburg, Greenfield Central, Lawrence Central and then have a tournament this coming weekend. Both track teams have had their senior night against Shelbyville before break and they'll be back in action against Zionsville this week and then the Franklin Central Showcase on Friday. Boys golf and girls tennis both start their season this week, so good luck to them as they embark on a great season. What is comedy sports? So comedy sports is competitive improv for high schoolers at our league, but they also do it for adults. It's kind of like SNL or whose line is it anyway? And how many people normally compete when you're on stage? On stage, it's four players per team at a time. And how do you guys practice for this? Oh gosh, so it's hard because you can't really practice improv, but we learn skills like the rules of improv, like no negating. For example, if somebody sets up a, a rhyme or a joke, you have to just run with it. You can't just change it and pretend like they didn't do it. So we practice the rules of improv, but it's, it's hard to practice something that's supposed to be unpracticed. So do you compete in the district with other schools in the area? Yeah, so we have like Carmel, Fishers, Warren Central, Greenfield. Um, all the sorts. So, yeah. Would you recommend comedy sports to other students, whether they be in theater or not? 100%. Um, it's technically not even a theater thing. It's just mostly talked about in the theater circle. I think that anyone, if you're funny or quick thinking, you would be great at it. I think it really fits anyone. And um, getting the diversity of just like experiences would be great for next year. So yeah, anyone would be great at it. That's all for your WHS school video announcements. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Westfield.